My name is Bjorn Gravik. I'm a next-gen SIEM sales engineer at CrowdStrike. In this video, I'll guide you through the basics of getting syslog data into next-gen SIEM using the Falcon Log Collector. Many of the most common data sources you may wish to ingest data from into next-gen SIEM send data using the syslog protocol. The Falcon Log Collector can be configured to receive messages sent using syslog. And when configured for syslog, the Falcon Log Collector receives such syslog messages from your data source, encrypts and compresses them, then sends them to NextGen Seam, where they are passed and normalized. You may see the Falcon Log Collector referred to by other names in documentation. Also, the Falcon Log Collector should not be confused with the Falcon Sensor. They are distinct. They have different functions, and you may have situations where you need both the Falcon sensor and the Falcon log collector on a particular host. The Falcon log collector can collect data from different sources. In this video, I will only describe collecting data from syslog sources. The installation and configuration steps we need to follow are outlined here. They consist of downloading and installing the Falcon log collector then creating or modifying the config.yaml configuration file, then in Falcon creating a next-gen SIEM data connector. And which one you choose depends on the data source you wish to ingest data from. Creating a data connector creates an API key and URL, and these need to be copied into the config.yaml file for the log collector. One note to make here is the URL that is created contains slash services slash collector at the end. Some data sources do need this. However, the log collector does not. That needs to be removed. Then we start the Falcon log collector. And then the final step is to configure your data source to send data to the Falcon log collector. Let's first find the log collector. Click on support and resources, tool downloads. The easiest way to find the log collector is to search for log scale. Download the one for your operating system. Then we go to the documentation to find information about how to ingest your particular data source. I'm going to use the example of wanting to ingest data from a Cisco firewall. Whatever you choose, the page will contain all the information that you need to configure the log collector and also to config, configure the data source, in this case, the Cisco firewalls to send data. And at the very end is also a query with which you can test whether you are actually receiving the data from the firewalls. I've already installed the log collector on a Linux host. Um, and I would then usually need to copy the relevant config.yaml file and put on my Linux host. Here is a sample configuration file, which looks almost like the exactly like the one from the Falcon documentation. One thing I have changed is the port. The default syslog port is 514, and that's also the port number that is in our documentation. However, 514 is a reserved port on Linux hosts. And the log collector can be configured so that it can uh, use that reserved port anyway. But it is simpler to simply use a non-reserved port, and that's what I've done here. I've made the port 1514 instead. One other thing I want to point out is the type, uh, where the value is heck. Some log collector documentation, uh, in some of the documentation, you will find that the type can also have other values. But for next-gen seems specifically, the value must always be heck. Now we need to get the token and the URL. So back to the Falcon console, where we click on next-gen seam and data onboarding. And once here, 
we'll find the data connector for our data source. Then we give that connector a name and optionally a description and agree to the terms and click save. Now the connector setup is in progress and you will see in the upper right corner a button called generate API key. Sometimes that button doesn't appear right away. If it's not there yet, simply refresh the page. Here's the API key, and I'm going to copy that to put into the token field here in our config.yaml file. And then back to the connection setup, copying the API URL, and back to the config.yaml file. And remember, remove the slash services slash collector. From the URL. Next step is to start the log collector and then the next step would be to send data from a Cisco firewall. I don't have a Cisco firewall handy so instead I'll use the logger command to simulate a device sending data to the log collector. The um, data that I'm sending is not formatted like a Cisco message. So the parser will complain and it will add an error message field to the message. But this is a simple way to test if the log collector is correctly configured to receive and forward messages. Switching back to the Falcon console and choosing next gen seam, advanced event search. I'm now going to do a search for hello. And here is the sample message that I sent. Note if it is if you've been doing other things in the meantime that the maybe it's more than 15 minutes ago that you tried to send a test message, then if this is still set at uh, the last 15 minutes, then you would not be seeing any data. Something else that we can also use is going back to data onboarding. There are some dashboards that give us information about uh, the data. My connectors is one that can be very relevant. Here is the connector that we created earlier. We can see that the status is active. Um, had I looked at this particular screen before I issued the logger command, then the status would have been pending. Let's go back to the installation steps. So what we did was, well, what I have already done was I downloaded and installed the log collector. I modified the config.yaml file. I created an XGen Scene data connector. I copied the API key and the URL into the config.yaml file. I then started the log collector and I sent some data via syslog to the Falcon log collector. And we saw that um, in the advanced event search in NextGenC. This next slide contains some useful links that contain in additional information that can be relevant when using the Falcon log collector. Thank you for watching.